Hey friends, welcome to webscript.info. My name is Rizwan Khan and in this video I'm going to discuss about my project, e-commerce project. As in my previous dis video I discussed about uh, like Merne stack and uh, some of uh, you asked question me, uh, they are getting uh, trouble while they are while they are trying to install this project. So for that, uh, uh, before starting a project and all, I know most of you want a uh, source code of this project. So uh, in this video, I'm go going to just tell you how you are going to configure this project if you want to run it just now. So for that, uh, we need uh, four things. Uh, first of all, a text editor, which you can download. Uh, just just do Google and type VS Code. Here we go. And this is uh, uh, one of the most uh, recommendable text editor uh, I'm going to use. And I will also suggest you to use this text editor if you're going to uh, use react and node.js and other things so this is very helpful it will give you a lot of hints as well as it will give you uh, attached uh, terminal so you can make use of the react commands and other npm commands next thing uh, we need uh, git as a command line tool so we also need git bash to type git bash and click on this download git here we are and uh, another thing we need to have a database for that uh, i'm going to use a mongod mongodb as a database and so here we go so uh, we, we can use mongodb in a multiple ways we can install a mongodb installer and then we can install it and we can make use of it by running some commands in our uh, cmd or if you're using linux and you can use a terminal but here i want to use a live mongodb database uh, and it is uh, available as a free database uh, for uh, certain storage not for unlimited storage so for that you have to sign in in the mongodb uh, database website so just click on sign in or just click on this try free and uh, here you uh, just enter your email and i agree with terms and condition get started you see uh, i'm already registered so i'll have to log in So this is what you will see after login. So you'll have to create a cluster and inside the cluster you'll get your database. So here we are going to create a free cluster. Just click on the build cluster and you'll see you'll come up with uh, some options like uh, starter cluster and single region cluster. So the free one is the starter cluster, cluster and then create a cluster. And then you'll have to choose a provider and reason the option is available here aws azure and google cloud platform so i'm going to use aws as a, my provider and uh, you choose your reason uh, mine one is mumbai and then here we have an option cluster tire and here you see it's a free forever for 512 megabyte of storage and that's it just we need to create cluster So it is uh, preparing my cluster. Once it is done, I will get a notification like it's done. So after cluster creation, you will see something like this. And here you see we have database access and network access. Here we are seeing the collections, net connect, and metrics. So just click on this collection. And right now I haven't created any collections, so it will be probably it will be empty. So that I don't have any collections. So first of all, uh, to have a collection and to access those uh, collections, we need to uh, give some access. So who is going to access these clusters? Uh, we have to create some users for that. And here I'm gonna create first uh, users. 
database access and click you see the username and all on click create a database user so add new user and so the permissions are required and so read and write to any database so I'm, first of all i'm giving this uh, read and write to any database uh, give it a name a username will be like uh, this one and password anything so my user is created and uh, now the first user is this one and the password is there you create your user and then come to the network access section and here you have to specify who is going to access this uh, database so basically the uh, list of uh, uh, ip addresses or the person you can specify the anything whatever you want so just click on this add ip address and here we have add current ip address so it means this system ip address it means uh, this system uh, is able to access this database otherwise you can allow everyone so i'm going to allow everyone to access this database so allow access from anywhere just click on this and you'll see something like that and comment is optional just leave it as a blank and then create on confirm so it will take a little while yeah it's done and you see the status is active so the persons who are going to access the database done and also database access users are done now finally we need to create the collections so here we can create the collections but uh, so here i'm going to create my first collection let's uh, click on this add my own data and then give it a name uh, database name and then collection name um, test database and collection name is users create So here see uh, it's similar like MySQL, right? We have the database and then we have the table users, but it's not a table. It's a different kind of data. It's called BSON, just like similar to JSON. So here we can add the column. So I'm not going here right now. So our, uh, we are done with our database. We have the user, so uh, that can access the database. So we are done with our database. Now we are going to install one of the most important thing that is the Node.js. And here we see this, we are in the official website of the Node.js. And this is available for Windows and other operating systems also. So the most uh, recommendable and stable version of Windows is 12.30.0. So just click on this download button and it is uh, it will be downloaded. And uh, you see here, after the installation, just open your command prompt and uh, like this. I node hyphen hyphen uh, version right and you'll see the the current installed version uh, in my system is 10.16.3 uh, maybe there is a chance if you type node hyphen hyphen version you will not see any version and uh, rather you, you will see like a command not found or something like that for that you have to make sure node is available in your environment variable right so we, we have to go in the system uh, to find out this pc and just click on this right and properties uh, advanced system settings and environment variables and here we have the path okay and edit the path so you see i have the node available in my environment variables c drive programmers notice so you just need to uh, find out where your node is installed and in my case it is in c drive program files and then node.js now copy this uh, path and paste in your uh, this environment variable and that, that's it just okay okay and make sure to close your command prompt and restart it so once again like this and node hyphen hyphen version and it's done also check npm version npm hyphen hyphen version and you see the version is also uh, npm is also available so this is the important thing to make everything works so i'm done with uh, all the installation things and if you guys are trying to install and you're facing trouble just let me know in the comment section and i will try to solve your problem repository link the, of this e-commerce website right so the link is also available in the description just click on the link you will come up with this website so this is a front-end repository and this is a back-end repository click on this 
and here you go uh, click or download something like that so copy this uh, uh, path copy this git link and uh, i'm going to create a folder in my desktop to keep things fresh and i'm going to give it a name my store open it and it's completely blank so just right click after installation of the git bash you will see this option git bash here click on this and you'll see uh, we have the desktop my store thing and this is my directory i just open i just created in my desktop right so here you have to uh, type some git commands to pull the code so copy this and Paste in your uh, git bash like this. So you see, the command is available. And before this line, you have to type git clone. Hit enter. And you see it's done, it's completed. Open your folder and you'll see the master front end is available, right? Also, I need to have a Maestro uh, backend, right? So when you get and uh, back to the uh, GitHub repository, back Maestro uh, backend or maybe frontend. What is that? It's a frontend. So open your backend. Same. Click on this download. Copy this line. Okay, here. And paste here. And this before this uh, HTTP get hit enter. And it's cloning installation. Yeah, it's down. It's cloning the complete repository in my local system. Okay, both are done. Now I have both the repositories available in my system. Now uh, open your command prompt and uh, navigate to the desktop port slash my store. So I and I PIR to see the list of directories and here I have two folders back and right front end. So I'm going to navigate to the my store front end first. And here you see master front end and type npm start and see if we come up with a lot of errors because there are a lot of uh, modules and uh, uh, libraries uh, we have to install all of those things right for that we just type npm install okay let's just first clear it type npm so it will take a little time. Also, open another command prompt and navigate to the desktop and my store. And then see my store backend. And here also, we need to install all the npm related packages. And install. So it's in both of them is in the installation mode. So this is the way you can clone the projects from the GitHub or any other repository in your desktop, and then use npm install command to install all the related packages, libraries, modules. Just type npm install, and then you're ready to work with that. So you see, I have some warning, but that's not a uh, worry about. That's just normal warnings. And the installation is complete successfully, so I can run my backend. So before starting this backend, I'm going to open my VS code. Stay here, VS code.
file open folder and uh, back to the desktop my store my store backend save folder so this is the first look we are going to see in my store backend and we just need to make a little change over here app.js file we see uh, we have here uh, mongo mongoose and we are connecting to our mongodb server it's a live url and we have the mongodb username and password we just created username and password we just uh, i'm just going to replace that thing so here uh, where is my mongodb here so the user i created network access and uh, sorry database access and you see here I have the username so you just created i think you know your, your username and password you're just going to replace with uh, this is the mine one so replace your uh, username as well as your password so i'm just showing you right now and it's uh, don't do any don't do any rush thing here right and that's it we're ready to run it uh, this this is a different account right uh, you don't know the email address i use different account right now to create the database so now let's run it i will definitely change after this video npm start hey it's not more server is starting you'll see something like that Uh, it's still installing a lot of uh, react thing is there and it's a heavy package So finally we are done with our uh, front-end uh, installation for cloning part right and Here we have a warnings. So this is not an issue. We can still run this project. So here we have to type in Start And React script is starting. And it's starting on localhost 3000 default. So you see, installation is complete and everything is working fine. Like t shirts. So right now I'm pulling data from a different database. So this is uh, what I haven't done anything. Uh, I haven't added. If you connect this uh, uh, with our existing database, so this is a completely blank, right? And don't worry, you just need to add a few uh, products in your database. And I'm going to tell you how you can add the products. So for that, uh, I will suggest you to use a, a Postman. So just type Postman uh, Chrome. And here you see Postman Google Chrome. And here, uh, here we go, launch app, something like that. Or you have to install it first. So I already installed it. So after installation, uh, you have to uh, type some uh, APIs to wish to uh, add a new product um, right now. So here we go. And uh, the API list is available here. In my previous project API. So if you want to first you need to sign up, you need to create an account and all those things. So just use this API to create the account. But once you are done with the account creation, then log in. Okay, after login, you will get a token, right? That part I'm going to do here. So here create user admin login. So this is the email I registered and this is a password one two three four five and so I'm going to send this request click on the send and you see login successfully and I have an a to I have token copy this token from here 
Now this is an API to create the product uh, body and headers. So first uh, come to this header and specify write auth token as a key. And here control A and uh, paste your token what you have just copied. And then content type will be application process JSON in body uh, add a product. So then I'm gonna use some uh, e-commerce website like cart.com or anything else. Men applications. Let's add this one. So copy this. Title. Price is going to be uh, let's say forty dollar. Stock hundred. Description Lauren and product image. So just right click on it. Open image in new tab. And copy this URL for the moment, right? Uh, then we will create our own uh, file uploader thing. Okay, that is done. Keyword is round neck t shirt, color, whatever it is. The category it's a t shirt category. So, if you want, you can just uh, use a API to see the how to get the category list. Yeah, here we go. We have a get category list. So, if you use this API, you'll get a category list. And then copy here the category and the created by this is the admin ID. Send request. And the response here is we have we got the response means our product is created successfully. Now back to the our project, and here we have uh, now four shirts. So I'm going to reload this page, and now we have one more shirt. There's a fifth one. If you open this and you see the cost is forty dollar, I just added. I can do the add to cart thing. Now you see our shirt is added. I can make an order whatever uh, I can do a lot of things so just try to do it and uh, if you have any trouble any problem comment and let me know uh, what you're doing thanks thanks for watching